Welcome back, everyone, to this GigaHub one-shot. Uh, before I go any further, uh, I would like to thank our sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert. We have everything to fill your comic book needs, uh, so come on down, talk to our wonderful and helpful staff, and they'll get you in the, the point into the right direction. Now, it's no secret that we, especially uh, myself and Adam, are huge tabletop RPG fans, and I know a lot of people play D&D, but... A lot of people don't know that there's a lot of other games out there. If you do, this video is not for you. But if you needed uh, any recommendations on any... Don't play that nerd or, stuff. <laughs> you don't play nerd math. Um, then here are a few recommendations to help you guys out to play other games to avoid burnout. Now, a lot of these games are still fantasy-based, like D&D, but the systems are a little bit different. And I want to talk about two of them, which will count as... Uh, one entry. Or you know what? Let's count them as two entries. That way I did more than what I'm supposed to. Um, Overachiever. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's me. You can always tell that that's me. Uh, the first game that I want to talk about is, you know, a lot of people I've heard, especially a lot of the older players within the community, talk about how 5e is not a great game or is too easy or what have you. Um, now, for those of you who feel that 5e has, is too it's easy. It's certainly problematic for long campaigns. Cer campaign. Certainly it is. Um, so for those of you who are not fans of 5e, there is this beautiful little book called Hackmaster, which has all the needless crunch of AD&D &D, uh, with a complicated rule set, unfortunately. Um, now, uh, I don't know. That's not we we played it when we started playing as a group, myself and Adam, when, and other people. We have friends. We do. Um, <laughs> when we started playing, it took me a while to get used to the rules. But once you do, character creation and sort of playing through the game becomes a lot easier. Um, it is. It does have a bit of a steep learning curve, especially for newer players. So it's definitely something more tailored for the older if you've players. I played D and D. It's probably. I would argue if you never played D&D, it's probably easier. Well, for that, I have this other book, uh, which is the White Box Fan Fantastic Medieval Adventure Game. Which uh, So Hackmaster is more based on the AD&D uh, book. Uh, White Box is based on the basic set that came out, uh, that first came out. Um, this is a really simple game. It only uses a D20 and D6s. So, you, you know... It's not hard to learn the rules, but getting unlike unlike a fifth edition, getting past level one is going to be a bit of a hassle uh, because, like I said, you only have d20s and d6s. So guess which one? Guess what your hit dice is going to be? <laughs> yeah, a d6, not a d12 plus con. White no, just a d6, maybe plus something depending on the level. Besides that, it is an easy game to pick up and play. And of course, for the four basic classes for basic races three of which are race classes um that's a great game for if you just kind of want to throw together a, a quick dungeon crawl or if you want to introduce people to tabletop rpgs right here this will be a good starting point for people uh let's talk about another medieval fantasy game called ryutama uh ryutama as you can see from this gorgeous artwork is a japanese table talk rpg which is what they call rpgs in a there you go. Table talk? Table talk RPGs. That's what they call them in Japan. Huh. Um, now, Ryutama is different because unlike D&D, &D, combat is not in the spotlight. The three main pillars of any D&D &D game are puzzles, combat, role play. Uh, this is very, very role play heavy. Um, a lot of... The, there's really usually no need for combat. Um, it's more travel themed. It's got li a lighter rule set. Really, the point of the game is it's it's just to go out and have an adventure. At least within the lore of the world, you have to go out and have at, at least one journey, one one adventure to talk about. Um, and of course, while you're playing a game, this is that is your adventure that is happening. Uh, this game sort of has its own world, but you don't have to go by the world like any RPG game. You can plug the system in to whatever kind of game you want to try to play. You can even make it combat heavy if you want. Put Ryutama in Forgotten Realm. I mean, you're not. You, you, this is for people who want to get away from D and D. But yeah, sure. I guess you could set Ryutama in the Forgotten Realms. Um, 
So the uh, the next couple of ones that I have, well, no, never mind. Uh, two of them are not fantasy based. This is another fantasy based one. Now, how dare these games have role play? How dare they? I am not a good role player, is what people say. I love role play, to be quite honest. But for those of you who don't like the mundane role play of other tabletop RPGs, there is a war game called Frostgrave, which takes place kind of in the same sort of fantasy setting. Can you see that? It's by Osprey Games. Basically, it's a mini-based war game. You choose a, a particular school of magic. You get wizard, a wizard mini, an apprentice mini, and then you get uh, soldier minis or minions or s- stuff like that. Um, they also do Gaslands. They also do ga- Osprey Games also does Gaslands. But basically, it's, it's a great game. They sell their own minis, or you can use your minis that you have. I would just use my minis because I, sh- I have a butt ton of minis. Um, but it does play like a like Warhammer, uh, to where you do have to like measure your your range with like a, a measuring tape and stuff like that. Um, so if you're more into the combat side of RPGs, you can play Frostgrave. You know what? You can role play in that too. Why not? Why not? Why not? I would role play in it. I mean, role playing games are an evolution of war games. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So so go right back. Go right back to war gaming the with evolution. Frostgrave. With Frostgrave. Uh, the last two games that I have uh, is another one that we've played. Champions Complete. Yes. It is a superhero RPG game. Um, this one, um, the system is fairly easy once you've gotten it. If you're an idiot like me, it'll probably take you a little bit. I remember I was having trouble with it it's, for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> um, especially when you're used to playing D&D. This does not I'm use D20s. very math. Yeah, there's a lot of math involved. A lot of, a lot of math. Ugh, that's still a lot of math for me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like a, it's like a point by system, right? You earn points when, right. and then you use those points to get better powers or to get new powers. Uh, it's we as close to a superhero simulation, I think, as you can get. It's for like sure. Yeah, yeah, game. yeah. Uh, if you need a break from medieval or fantasy, I keep saying medieval fantasy, just fantasy in general. This is a great game. We uh we played this for like months long time. long time you were like the what were you You were like the um like ben Grimm if he was made of steel right. and i was uh yeah. and i was a kung fu master we were right out of 70s comics you we and were. me yeah, we it was pretty cool um we had a doctor strange kind of character. yeah we had a doctor she strange was, character uh, she looked like a renaissance uh a plague doctor yeah your brother ran the game for a couple oh, weeks yeah. that was pretty cool we that was that was good character. you had a spider-man we character the powers of spider woman oddly enough yeah, but he was a wasn't he actually an actual spider, some sort of mutated spider He's a person. Mutated spider person. Yeah. All right, and the last one I have is a game that not a lot of people talked about. I didn't even know it existed until I had gone to Seattle and I raided a bookstore and I found it. It's called Worldwide Wrestling, the role playing game. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now I've only read it and I've seen a playthrough of it on YouTube. Uh, and the game looks like it's so much fun. I'm a, I'm a big wrestling fan going back to like the 80s. Um, so this game is like right up my alley. Uh, I did create a character already. He's, uh, he's an evil math teacher from hell named the Hexadecimator. Nice. Uh, and he's basically yeah. just imagine uh, imagine your, your math teacher, right, with like a white button shirt, but the sleeves are torn off and he's huge. Yeah. yeah. And he's jacked. He's got big old arms. Um, that's how he shows you the Pythagorean theorem with a headlock. Um, so yeah, I mean, just from what I've read from the game, from what I've seen played, like it, it can be a fun game. Learning the game isn't what's hard. I think for people who don't know a lot about wrestling, getting into like getting into that wrestling character and sort of putting on the show, which is basically what you're doing in the game is each session you're putting on a show on, that's on TV. So just sort of hitting those wrestler marks that would make like a really good, uh, like a really great moments in this game, I think would be lost on people who don't watch wrestling. Um, so that might, there might be a learning curve there, but the game is not that hard to learn. It's a roll under 3d6 system. So all you need are d6s to play. Um, anyway, yeah. So those are a couple of the games that I have played. And I mean, a, a few that I have not, but these are the games that I'm recommending to you. If you want to take a break from playing the, f- D and D system, five E, three point five, uh, what have you? What have you? Four point oh. Nobody plays that. Um, 
So if you want to try these out, uh, please, by all means, uh, you can probably find them on the internet somewhere. I didn't get all the... I'm not going to do all that research. You guys can Google. Um, yeah, if you guys have any uh, RPGs that you want me to try or that uh, that you want to recommend to anybody else who would read the comments, uh, go ahead and drop us a comment and remember to like and subscribe so that we can put out more of these one-shot videos. Uh, anyway, we'll see you guys next time.